What up, that's all your friends. It's me, the man, coming back at you for Walk Through Music. Yet another walk through the word. I'm going to call this walk through the word tonight. Uh, we give God all the glory and all the praise and honor. We thank him for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. We also thank God for each and every one of you, cyber friends. You know who you are. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I had to, uh, uh, once again, having to uh, counsel Bible study for tonight. Uh, my uh, Mediacom, my broadband connection is just so unstable. It's in and out, and I'm not for certain when it will go out, but I've been having trouble for about the last two or three months. Tell you the truth, it's been longer than that, really, but it's just been sporadic. But nevertheless, I would hate to have Bible study to have people in the lobby, and then I get kicked off, and then they sitting there waiting for me, and I'm gone. So I decided that I would just kind of hold off for it right now until we can see what Mediacom is going to do about getting their service right. And uh, it's really getting to be a real drag, you know. But nevertheless, we are here tonight, and uh, I'm just going to do a little basic uh a basic study on what some things that I was thinking of. I've uh, been thinking about them all day today, and I was going to do a study on this subject tonight. And uh, I wanted to take the time out to just uh, look at some things in, in light of the world present condition. And it's, it's, it's in bad shape, people. It's in bad shape, but it has not taken no one as far as if you belong to God, and if you are a disciple of Christ, and you are a Bible study student, you should know that all of the stuff that's happening is not happening by chance. It's all been predicted. As a matter of fact, I just saw a little short video uh, Brother L.A. have just put up about the persecution and the execution, I should say, of a priest in Syria. It's no surprise. It's no surprise at all. But we are, these are just the birth pains, and they're getting very close and more frequently. And we just got to realize in this Take it for what it is, people, because this is going to happen. This is the exact same thing I've been speaking all these many months and years. I've been teaching and telling everyone that this day, these days were coming and they're coming and they are here. But nevertheless, I just want to say, as the title of the video that I, I this video I said, Whale University. And what I was going to be talking about on tonight, if I had had the Bible study, was going to be about when Jonah was sent to Nineveh. God sent Jonah to Nineveh to tell them that they should repent. And if they didn't repent, he was going to destroy the city. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to consolidate this here very brief. I'm going to consolidate it very brief. I don't want to make a long video because everybody already knows the story of Jonah. If you're a Bible student, you should already know the story of Jonah. But Jonah had to go to Whale University before he would uh, obey. And that is basically where, where a lot of us are today. We all seem like that we take God's word for granted. People, if God has said it, that's it. It's going to be just like he said. And Jesus told the disciples the thing that was going to be going on on the earth just before he got ready to return. Persecution was going to be very, very rapid. In other words, we see it already happening. And it's not just started. It's been, it's been persecution has been going on ever since Jesus left. And matter of fact, even before he left, the persecution has already began to start. And the uh, from from the from from the apostle Saul, apostle Paul, when he was being um, he he was standing there holding the jackets for the one that killed the first deacon of the church, uh, Stephen, Stephen or Stephen, whatever you want to call it. But at any rate, many man just saying, don't let God have to send you to where a university for you to obey people. We are living in time now where people do not want to hear the truth. They will rather hear a lie than the truth. But let me tell you something. We are, we got to get back to where Jesus told us to get. Following him, doing what he say do. He said, go ye into all the world, taking this gospel. In other words, teaching men, women, boys and girls, that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, eternal life. We know that we have the petition that we, Jesus have already paid the debt, people. We can't do anything. We might as well sit down when it comes to that. We don't have to do anything. That's been done. But righteous living is only can be done through us by the Holy Spirit as we follow Christ and study his word. You can only obey God to as much as you know about him. 
So if you don't take time to read and study your Bible and read the Word of God, then how can you know the will of God? I told you. I've said it more times a little bit in this. It's biblical. The will of God for our lives for us to be shaped and molded in the image of His Son. Point blank. That's it. Nothing added. No additives, people. All we have to do is rest in the Lord. But we need to keep our eyes open. I like, uh, I tell your brother, L.A., to keep a post. Keep a posted on that. The watches of the wall. If the enemy is coming and you don't sound the trumpet, you are responsible for the blood of the people. So when the people, are, we got a lot of people out here blowing the trumpet. But a lot of us are just not listening. So what I'm saying, don't let it be known that you got to go to Whale University. Jonah had to go to Whale University before he got up and went on to Nineveh. And as a result, when he went to Nineveh, the whole city repented. From the king down to the least one, everybody repented in sackcloth and ashes. A whole city repented. That's not never happened anywhere. Nowhere in history has that ever happened since or before. Whole city repented. What would what what would happen if this here whole country would repent? The good old U.S. of A. What would happen if, if, if the whole country would just repent? If we had a prophet sent to us from Whale University, like Jonah, and told us what was going to happen, God said he was going to destroy the city if it didn't repent. But every one of them repented. Of course, Jonah got mad because Jonah wanted to see them people get, uh, he wanted to see them destroyed. He didn't, he didn't like them. He had a prejudice against them. But nevertheless, what if, God sent us a whale university prophet like Jonah. Tell us to repent. Would we repent? Would we stop our sin? Would we just get in sight off the ashes and be very and repent and turn away from our wicked ways? Would we do that? Well, whether we would do it or not, that is yet to be known. But I'm going to say one thing, people. We can repent, and that'll be a good thing. But we cannot change what God has said. Now, in other words, Jesus is coming. He's coming on that cloud. I wrote a song called Slow Cloud. He's coming on a slow cloud because he's trying to give us time to get our lives in line. Now, I wrote a song called the Slow Cloud. Haven't posted it on the net yet, but it's coming. Wanted you to let you know, people, that we cannot change what God has said. What Jesus has spoken, that's going to be. The end is coming. But it's not the end. See, we need to stress this because a lot of people will take you literally. This world is never going to end. This is a world without ending. But the end of the system of these things that we are presently in, this world system, is going to be totally body slammed by Christ when he comes. Christ is going to set up his kingdom. 1,000 years of perfect harmony and peace. He's going to rule it with a rod of iron. You're going to be made to obey and during that time. There's going to be no mess in his kingdom. There will be no mess in Christ's kingdom. And then after the 1,000 years, Satan will be loosed again. And then the culmination of all things, God will take care of everything. Then we're going to enter into eternity. After that, we're going to see John say, I saw the new Jerusalem descending. City built full square. The city will be seen out throughout the universe. I can't even go to tell you the dimensions of that city. Some 1,400 miles high. You do the math. People, that, that city is going to be way out in the atmosphere, on out in space. It's going to be seen throughout the universe. So we got a promise from Christ that we live. We accept the, 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 the we got to accept the finished work that he did on Calvary. Over 2,000 years ago, people, we we're in the season again. We we're right here in Passover. But God, Jesus was the Passover lamb. He, has say, he said it is finished. And when he said that, he meant that. It is finished. All we need to do now is, is accept the finished work of Christ. Now, we got a lot of people preaching a whole lot of stuff about the grace of God. Well, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you, everyone, just as simple as I know how, read the scripture for yourself, people. Let the Holy Spirit be your guide. And then he will teach you and he lead you into all truth about this grace. Because I'm, I'm not going to sit here and try to explain all the stuff that I hear a lot of people trying to explain about grace. and this. I'm not going to go into that. Not my job. But I'm saying here that we must 
accept Christ, the blood bought sacrifice that he did on Calvary, cut the deck. Cut the deck because I'm I'm afraid to sit here and tell people what God meant and what he didn't mean. I'm going to tell you to go to the scriptures and read the scriptures for yourself and let the Holy Spirit, what he tell you, that's what you do. Not what many man say and nobody else for that matter. You read your scripture for yourself and whatever the Holy Spirit tell you to do, that's what you do. In other words, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to break it down in a more simpler term. Remember what Jesus told, I mean, remember what Jesus did at the wedding at Cana. His mama told him, whatever he say do, my son, whatever my son tell you to do, you do it. So this is what my advice to you, whatever he say do, that is what you do. Remember Mr. Miyagi in the Karate Kid. Mr. Miyagi told Danielson, I say, you do. So in other words, what Christ say, we do. That's what makes us a disciple and a follower. Not a fan, but a follower of Jesus Christ. With that being said, this middle man saying, we, whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God is not in it, please come out of it, please ma'am, please sir, because it's going to come to nothing. That being said, take your, take your time, watch yourself when you're going through it to and fro. Be very careful and let's pray. Let's pray for the saints. We need to pray for the saints, people, because persecution is on the ride. Look for it and it's going to get worse. That being said, this is many man saying peace. Good night.